Well, I, I'm here today to reiterate Wilmington's strong opposition to North Carolina Senate's proposed sales tax redistribution plan, as you've heard. Also have with me here Council Member Laura Paget, who's also deeply <laughs> concerned about these effects upon our city's budgets. I'm pleased that we have friends here with us today from um, public as well as the private sector in a unified front against this particular plan. While the Senate has now revised their redistribution plan to one that is a 50% point of sale and 50% per capita, Wilmington and the surrounding communities loses, losses remain beyond comprehension and would likely cause deep service cuts and or tax increases. The new bill, according to the city finance staff, and I have Deborah Mack who is with us here today from our finance staff, actually does very little to lessen the burden on our city and as well as our neighbors. The initial 80-20 plan would have resulted in a loss of $29.6 million between 2017 and 2020. The revised 50-50 plan would result in a loss of $22.4 million during that same period. So very little changes for the city of Wilmington and it's a very significant impact upon us. Uh, the loss would mean cuts to city services and likely increases the taxes at the local level. On the subject of taxes, the aim of this plan is supposed to assist more rural communities to invest in capital projects and education related improvements. However, just this week, one of the counties that will see a 79% increase in their sales tax revenue under this plan, and that 79% increase, was quoted by an out-of-state newspaper as saying that they were likely going to use this newfound revenue <coughs> as an opportunity to lower their county tax rates, which is atrocious. Again, please understand that my city and our taxpayers will lose over $22 million in the next few years and in hard-earned sales tax revenue and face the potential for property tax increase so that in turn another county can reduce their property taxes. I don't believe that any of us fault Senate leadership's efforts to help rural North Carolina but doing so by taking over 50% of the state's population is the wrong way to do it. The 23 counties and countless cities and towns that stand to lose substantial revenue already give substantial amounts to benefit the state as a whole. Of the current two cents of local option sales tax that goes towards local government revenue, 25% of that revenue already goes back to the state to be evenly distributed on a per capita basis. This is a key point that is often overlooked in the discussion that we are literally the only state in the nation that distributes a local option sales tax on a per capita basis. The Alliance for Prosperous North Carolina letter that all of our organizations signed on to and released just yesterday shows that this is not a rural versus urban issue or coastal versus western North Carolina issue. If we are to move forward as a state then we need to come up with solutions that reinforce that we are indeed one North Carolina rather than plans that will only serve to divide us and weaken our greatest job generators. Finally, I want to thank the leadership in North Carolina House for their continued opposition to this plan, and I want to applaud Governor McCrory for his continued commitment to veto any redistribution plan, no matter in what form of a legislative vehicle it comes in. So thank you very much. Next. Mm -hmm.